To edit the settings for your email accounts, open the full settings menu and select accounts and sync. Here, you can see all the accounts you've added to the phone. Here, I'll open the settings for my Google account. On this screen, you can choose if you want to sync your contacts, Gmail inbox, and calendar. You can also choose to sync now or to remove the account from your device. Selecting one of the non-Gmail accounts, you'll be taken to this screen where you can choose to edit the account settings. Selecting the account settings option will give you the ability to review and edit the incoming and outgoing server settings for email accounts you have already set up. Selecting general settings, you can select the email font size you want. You can choose if you want to use a signature, and you can also change your signature. Tapping here, you can edit your signature. Tap Save when you've finished. You can choose to set this as the default email account. The attachment cache will let you select to save attachments to the phone or SD card. Ask before deleting is a good option to leave on. This will bring up a confirmation screen when you select the delete option in your inbox. Enabling the refresh on open option, the device will check for new emails when you open your inbox. In the send and receive settings, your options are grouped into two categories. At the top are the receive settings, and the bottom are the send settings. Here, you can find options such as fetch schedule, auto download message, and to sync deleted messages from your server. The last option is for notification settings. Choose if you want to be notified about new emails for this account, and if you want the device to play a notification tone or vibrate. Returning to the general settings for the account, you'll see the same sync options as in the received settings menu. Here, you can also choose to sync the account now or remove the account. The Thunderbolt comes with a handy calendar tool that will let you create and sync events. Open the app launcher and select the calendar icon. Here, you'll be taken to the current month and today's date will be highlighted in green. Dates with events attached to them will show a gray bar next to the date. Tapping on a day will open it. Here, you can see the preloaded events for April Fool's Day, Tax Day, Earth Day, and Easter. Tapping this icon will switch to Agenda View. Here, events are listed chronologically. Tapping here again will take you back to Month View. You can switch to Agenda View through the pop-up menu as well. Selecting Day View will display a page with all events for that day and the option to create a new event. Sliding your finger across the screen, you can move in between dates. Tapping this icon will display a page with the calendar and week view. Again, you can scroll through different weeks by dragging your finger left or right. Month view will return you to the same layout as when the calendar was first opened. In this view, you can scroll up and down to change months. The last view option is today. Selecting this, you'll be taken to the current date where you can view any events. Next, I'll add an event. 
Tapping on the day, you can select Add Event from the top of the screen, and you'll be taken to the Event Editor. At the top of this page, you can choose which calendar you want to save the event to, if you have multiple synced with your phone. Enter the name of the event, and select the start and end times. Scroll through the wheel until it displays the time you want, and hit OK to save your changes. You can also select the All Day checkbox. Enter the event location and you can also enter a short description of the event. Tapping here, you can choose how long before the event you'll receive a reminder. Under the Guests category, you can enter the email address of anyone else attending. The last option in the event editor is for an event repetition. You can choose between one-time event, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. After you've entered all the information for your event, tap save and the event will be created. You can see there's now a gray bar on the 7th and since I chose for the event to repeat weekly, Events have been added for the following Thursdays. A long press on an event will open this menu. Here, you can select to view, edit, delete, or share the event. If you choose to delete an event that repeats, you'll need to select if you want to delete only this event, this and future events, or to delete this event in its entirety, both past and future, select all events. Tapping on the day will give you the option to add an event. However, if you want to quickly add an event to a day, tap on the plus icon. This will automatically launch the event editor for that day. A long press on a date from the month view will show this menu. Here, you can select to show the day, show agenda, or add a new event to that date. Under the More category, in the pop-up menu, you'll find options to refresh, go to a specific date, view calendars, and edit calendar settings. Selecting Go To, scroll through the wheel to find the date you want to view, and press OK. In Calendars, you can find calendars synced with your Gmail account, as well as the ability to enable PC synchronization, such as with an Outlook Exchange account.